so we are solving this problem we have discussed in the earlier lecture so you have 16 activities here and the duration of the activities are given in the second column the lag values are given here in third and the predecessor relationships are given in the fourth column so accordingly we, here we are going to prepare a bar chart for this particular project so let's start with first activity uh, this first activity uh, has duration equal to zero and no predecessor relationship is given so this is a kind of a dummy activity so we don't need to assign any time for this so let's go to the activity number two activity number two has duration three days no lag and predecessor is activity one so basically we can start this activity from the first day itself and it requires three days so one two three three days i'm just highlighting its activity here and i'm putting the outside border for this okay now let's move to activity number three its duration is five days plus two days lag and its predecessor is activity number two so it will start on day four when the activity two is over and needs five days so one two three four five now similarly we will go to the activity number four ten days is the duration and its predecessor is three now we know that for activity number three there is a lag for two days is available so just marking this lag here means the meaning is we will start two days after activity number four will start two days after the activity number three is over so activity number four will start here it requires 10 days so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have here defined activity number 4 now we'll move to activity number 5 duration is 6 days and it has two predecessors now activity number 3 and activity number 4 now we know that we will have to choose the activity which finishes the latest whenever there are multiple predecessors for a particular activity so even if the activity number third three is over on 10th day with the lag it's also considering the lag but the activity number four is completed on 28th day so our activity number five will start from the fifth day its duration is six days so one two three four five six we'll just mark the activity here then let's move to activity number six it has 12 days one day lag and predecessors are four and five obviously five activity number five is finishing the latest or amongst the two so we will start from 27th day and activity number six has duration of 12 days so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we will mark activity number six here now let's move to activity number seven activity number seven has again two predecessors five and six obviously six here is uh, finishing 
the latest so we will move with we will start with activity number six but activity number six also has lag of one day so we will just mark the lag here and we will start after finishing off one day after finishing off activity number six activity number seven has seven days duration so one two three four five six seven we will be marking the seventh activity so our seventh activity finishes on 46th day we will move with activity number eight activity number eight has predecessor fifth activity so it will start once the activity number five is over so activity number five finishes on 26th day so our activity number eight will start from 27th day you can see here so it has a duration of five days so one two three four five plus one day lag i'm just marking the lag here and the duration of the activity is five days so it will start on 27th and it will finish on 31st day now let's move to activity number nine activity number nine has three predecessors five seven and eight so let's see uh, five is finishing on 26th so next is seven eight is finishing on 32nd and seventh activity is let's check when it is finishing so seventh activity is finishing on 40 sixth day so activity number nine will start from 47th day onwards and its duration is 10 days so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten days so it will finish on 56th day from the start of the project next activity is activity number 11 it has four predecessors in fact it has wait it has five predecessors five seven eight nine ten so as okay sorry uh, we were talking about let's go to activity number 10 it has a duration of seven days and two days lag it has two predecessors five and seven so seven is finishing the latest amongst the two so activity number 10 will start from 46 uh, 47th day onwards so and its duration is seven days there's two days lag so one two three four five six seven I'll just mark and it has two days lag okay now We'll talk, uh, go to the activity number 11. It has five predecessors. Amongst all the predecessors, activity number 10 is finishing on, considering the lag as well, it is finishing on 55th day. Activity 9 is finishing on 56th day. It doesn't have any carry any law lag. So, activity number 11 will start from 56th day. When the 56th day is finished and from, it starts from 57th day. It has 5 days duration and 5 days lag. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is the duration 
of the project of the activity and then there is a five days lag so one two three four five so let's mark the lag next activity is activity number 12 it has a predecessor its predecessors are so it's it has a duration of four days and lag its predecessor is nine activity so activity number nine here it is and activity number 12 will start from 57th day it has a duration of four days so we'll mark here one two three four okay now we will talk about activity number 13 it has three predecessors 5 6 5 6 and 7 5 6 and 7 so 5 then 6 and 7 so latest finishing activity is 7 it is finished on 46th day so 47th day onwards activity number 13 13 can start it has a duration of 10 days so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. we'll mark it here next we'll consider the sec uh, next activity is 14th activity it has a duration of 6 days see 3 days lag and its predecessors are 8 and 11 so 11th activity the longest amongst the two or latest finishing activity a plus it has a lag so considering the lag as well we can start activity number 14 from 67th day onwards so and it has a duration of six days so let's mark the activity one two three four five six so six days duration also it has three days lag one two three so one two three okay next is activity number 15 it has three predecessors 11 12 13 so these are the three predecessors so here also activity number 11 is ending the latest so activity number 15 will start from 6 to 7 day it has a duration of 5 days so 1 2 3 4 5 okay now we'll come up to the last activity activity number 16 and has a duration of two days and its predecessor is activity number 15 so activity number 15 ends on 72nd day and <coughs> activity number 16 has two days so one two here the project is ending on 75th day